Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 16 Team Up Pokemon Booster Packs. Now these are the three card packs known as Mini Packs. I did purchase these Mini Packs from the Dollar Tree for $1 a piece. Of course, Team Up is the newest set in the Pokemon TCG, just coming out this past February. Here's a little bit different look at the mini packs that I'll be opening up. I am a little bit worried with this opening. I believe the packs have been weighed previously at the Dollar Tree store I went to. All the packs had been searched through, so who knows what types of pulls will be getting in this opening. It is possible to pull any of the cards from the Team Up expansion in one of these packs. Each pack does have some type of promotional card. It is not an online TCG code card. And then the card trick is one and then one, potentially moving something good to the back of the pack. First pack starts with Psyduck, Pupitar, and then a Vulpix. Of course, Tag Team GX are new to the Pokemon TCG in Team Up. Next pack here in the same cover artwork designs as on the regular booster packs. Alolan Geodude starts this one, Charmeleon, and the final card would be a Mankey. Something I'd like to pull out would be an Erica's Hospitality, for example. Maybe something like a Pokemon Communication, Eevee Snorlax pack now. Jirachi, either as a Rare Holo or Reverse Holo, is one of the more valuable cards in the set. Magikarp starts this one, Farfetch'd, and the final card would be an Execute. Moving on to a Celebi Venusaur pack. Larvitar starts the pack. I like the looks of this card, the background. Fairy type energy. And the final card would be a Zapdos. And this is a rare holo. One of the better cards in the set. Lightning type decks are very popular from Team Up. So Thunderous Assault can do 80 damage very quickly. Set that one aside, at least I won't be shut out. Next pack. Ponyard starts the next pack. Water Memory. And the final card would be a Ninetales, and that is a Rare Reverse Holo. So going two for two on the last two packs. Rare Holo into a Rare Reverse Holo. As far as the difference between these mini packs and then the regular booster packs, I still recommend the regular booster packs over these mini packs just because you are guaranteed a rare in the pack plus a reverse solo. Ponyar starts this one. Electrode Charger. And the final card would be a Kabutops. And this is a rare. It is very good if in the active Pokemon spot it prevents your opponent from playing any supporter cards. That is a rare. Three good cards to summarize. So maybe these packs have not been weighed. Mimikyu Gengar pack now. Would love to pull one ultra rare or secret rare from these 16 packs. Meowth to start this one. Electro Charger. And the final card would be a Nido Ran. And I did try and dig deep into the box at Dollar Tree. Potentially those packs in the back had not been searched through. Pikachu Zekrom pack now. Would love to pull out that GX. Psyduck starts the pack. Charmeleon. And the final card would be a Vulpix. Next pack. Alolan Grimer starts this pack. Flaffy. And the final card would be an Erica's Hospitality. So the second rare holo pull of this opening. I have been able to pull some pretty competitive cards. This one is very good. Later in the game, it can allow you to draw several cards into your hand. Would love to pull that card in full art form. I believe that is the most valuable card in the set. So very happy with the pulls. Another Larvitar starts this pack. Fairy type energy. And the final card would be a Shaman Prism Star. So I certainly picked out the right packs. This is one of several different Prism Star cards in Team Up. This is my second favorite one behind Tapu Koko. You can easily play this card in a Rayquaza GX Vicavolt deck. It takes advantage of having lots of energy in play. Pikachu Zekrom pack. It does seem like there's been an energy card before some of the better cards that I pulled out. 
Pan Champ starts this one. Here's a Metal Energy card. Does my theory hold truth? Looks to be a Reverse Hollow of a Pan Champ, just a common. But in a pack like this, a Reverse Hollow is worth setting aside. Four more packs left after this one, I believe. Meowth to start this pack. Brock's Grit, which is available as a full art. And the final card would be a Nido Ran. Mimikyu Gengar pack now. Charmander starts it. Ammonite. And the final card would be another Reverse Hollow, this time a Helio List. So an uncommon here, Pancham was a common. Two more packs left after this one. Litten to start this pack. Lightning type energy, is there something good behind this one? It would be a Pangoro, and this is a rare non-holo. So set that one aside. I've done much better than I thought I would from these packs. Essentially, this would be four regular booster packs. Pharaoh Seed starts this pack. Water Memory, and the final card would be a Pidgeotto, and this is just a common, but it does have a great ability on it, Air Mail. It lets you look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Final pack in this 16 mini pack opening. The pack starts with Helioptile, Alolan Graveler, and the final card would be a Pidgeot, and a good way to end the opening, a rare Reverse Hollow. So I can summarize my pulls now, very happy with them overall. So as far as the better pulls go, I was able to pull out two rare non-holo, Kabutops and Pangoro, four Reverse Hollow, Common Rarity and Pancham, Uncommon Rarity and Heliolisk, and then two rare Reverse Hollow, Pidgeot and Ninetales. I was able to pull two very good rare holo cards, Zapdos and Erica's Hospitality, and then probably the hardest card to pull overall would be the Prism Star of Shaman. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.